video footage shows 29-year-old black man beaten by Memphis officers. As hundreds of thousands remain without power in Texas on Thursday amid frigid temperatures and icy roads, the Northeast is bracing for a blast of bitterly freezing air that forecasters say could be the coldest felt in decades. Taylor Lautner recalled what it was like to see Taylor Swift's face after Kanye West interrupted her speech at the 2009 VMAs. Learn what the Twilight star said about his ex. His legal team is going on the offensive, calling for state and federal investigations into the dissemination of material from his laptop. Bachelor alum Sarah Heron shared her and fiancé Dylan Brown's baby boy, Oliver Brown, died shortly after she gave birth at 24 weeks pregnant. The College Board unveiled a new framework for Advanced Placement's African American Studies course. It says the changes were not a result of pressure from C. Charles Robinson and Frank Schwab recap all of the latest news from around the NFL, including the Denver Broncos trading to acquire head coach Sean Payton. Alabama is a winner on National Signing Day despite not adding any prospects to its class. National Signing Day. Winners and Losers. Alabama is a winner on National Signing Day despite not adding any prospects to its class.